no holding them once they get to the... <laughs> anyone's misfortune. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word tonight is door. D-O-O-R. Really? You bet your life. Now, what is gung-ho? Does that mean you worked in a Chinese laundry? <laughs> no, Groucho, that's marine talk. It means you're all marine. Oh. Are you sure your husband hasn't lost some of his buttons in his laundry? <laughs> I don't think he ever lost his buttons in the laundry, but he lost his pants at the wedding. <laughs> That's a little premature, isn't it? Huh? But I've well, had... tell us about some unusual experience. Yes, this happened off duty. That we can conceivably use here tonight. <laughs> this happened off duty. You've said very little that we can, but... Uh... <laughs> Perhaps something will come out that uh, we won't get arrested. Well, my most interesting experience, I believe, happened as a result of a newspaper ad that I answered a year or so ago. A gentleman in Laguna Beach advertised in the post... There are no gentlemen in Laguna Beach. No, this gentleman is now abroad. This couldn't be Christine, huh? <laughs> well, I'll have stuff for next year, huh? <laughs> is uh, Pat still working across the hall from you, Les? Yes, she is. Did, uh, do you believe a woman should uh, work after she's married? No, but <clears throat> I believe it's only right until we get a little money ahead in case of a, well, a sudden little mishap. a new name for it, huh? <laughs> Just what do you mean by that, uh, Les? Uh, I hope you don't mean what they think you mean. No, no. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> well, anything can come about. Uh, any emergency can No, not can anything. Arise. <laughs> Different things can arise. I see. <laughs> by the way, Pat, uh, To the baking powder. Did you read the, uh, your, is he related to you, this uh, character in Indiana? No, we're not connected in any way. Not even the jawbone with the knee bone? Each <laughs> bone connected with the jawbone. And jawbone connected with the jawbone. <laughs> what do you do a grind, Sue? Sue, <laughs> so, can you do a grind? I have two children. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> well, you say he went to Japan after that, huh? About 25 years, Gaucho. What have you learned after being 25 years in politics? Well, the old-fashioned way is still the best. <laughs> have some reputation, you know. <laughs> there isn't anything anybody can say to me anymore that doesn't evoke some kind of a dirty laugh from the audience. <laughs> what do you mean by the old-fashioned way? <laughs> well, just... <laughs> what were you studying at the, this Fenneman's Waterloo? <laughs> I was studying. My major was nursing, and my minor was... Your major was a nurse? Nursing. Oh, nursing. And my minor was psychology. Oh. And did you become a nurse? I was a nurse before I started for my... I had an RN degree before I started for the BS. 
Well, what's an RN? I won't ask you what the other letter is. <laughs> RN stands for What's that? RN stands for registered nurse. It does, huh? Yes. <laughs> now, what is the most unusual thing you've been asked to purchase? Well, I would say the. Um, oh, let's see. Just recently, we had a request uh, over the phone for the magic pillow. You know, uh, it's uh, a very unusual. Uh, yeah. Tell me, quick, what is it? Huh? Well, it's, what uh, does it do? Hurry, it's, hurry. Uh, one of these pillars, you know, and you put it in, it's electrical, oh. and you plug it in the wall, and then it wiggles, and you can sit on it, and it uh, massages your spine, and, uh, well, when you're watching television, you can put it on your, you know, put your feet on it, and massages your feet, and, well, um, if, if you want to you that you wiggles, could, uh, I don't want a pillow. <laughs> Tell him one of those. There's no women up in that camp. You may think you were describing a pillar. You were actually describing the girl of my dreams. I hate to leave this seductive subject, but Paul, let's get back to your work. Do you chop any trees down yourself? No. No. Because they're busy working by themselves. Well, so and am I, but that's another story, huh? They work 24 hours a and day. They're a pretty foul one, too, huh? They work 24 hours a day for you. They do, huh? And each worm lays an egg every seven days, mm -hmm. and at the end of he 21 could days... He on television, man. Yeah, at the end of 21 days, those eggs hatch, and there's from one to 20 worms in each egg, and when the baby's three months old, it's mature and starts laying. And every worm lays. <laughs> when people used to, they'd, they'd talk to somebody else and they'd want to insult them. They'd say, you poor worm, you. I have two girls also. You have two girls? Uh-huh. How old are they? Well, uh, my oldest one, Ruth Ann, is 16. Uh, she was just chosen uh, Miss Quartzville and Queen of the Almond Festival. Well, that's Should a nice be, uh, title, Miss Quartzville. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like you to come up and see it. Well, I, Could I you might. come to the festival? I might. When is it? Uh, 7th of March. Dick Lane's going to be up there, and I think that uh, you'd be real good up there. Uh, well, if you have Dick Lane, I don't think you'd need me. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they do. Yeah, they do very well. Well, did you have a girl in this country that you uh, were enamored of, and that was the reason you didn't want to accept this chief's offer? No, I uh, don't have a girl, gotcha. You don't have any girl? Right? No, sir. The one. <laughs> How old did you say you were? 31. <laughs> you had a girl, I imagine. Well, uh, how do you mean that? <laughs> well, I meant it in the, in, in the nicest way you possibly could. <laughs> I mean, at some time in these 31 years, there must have been some girl that you liked, wasn't it? Uh, I like traveling better, I'm afraid. Oh. Well, I don't see the comparison, but I suppose... <laughs> I know you need a bag when you travel, but I don't know...